What's going on guys, Sean Gautier back with another video. I have a brand new client in the chair. My man's name is Tevin. He is a traveling opera singer. Super cool dude. Just came in for the first time. We did a high fade and beard lineup and enhancements. Hope this is a helpful video for you guys. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, we're gonna jump right in with our ball guideline. For some reason, I chose to scoop this in with my slim lines instead of punching it in like I normally do. Not gonna change a whole lot. It's just gonna make it easier to take the ball guideline out. So we're gonna go ahead, set the guideline with the slim lines, then we'll ball that with the skeletons underneath. And that's just gonna make it easier for the shaver to come in and get it all the way down to skin. Now our next step is to come in with the Gamma X Ergo with the lever all the way open. Guys, this is my X Ergo with the taper blade. We're gonna go up about three quarters of an inch, probably more like a half inch here. I'm being careful, I don't know his hair yet. I will end up adjusting on this side. The other side will be a lot easier. We're gonna set our guideline with the lever open, then we can work it out from the bottom. Next up, we're gonna come in with the clipper all the way closed. We're gonna to start to work that guideline out. We're just gonna bump the line up slightly. After that, we can come in with it halfway open and take that middle line out. Anything that's left behind, guys, we will use the lever starting with it open and we can close it up a little bit until we get those dark spots out and finish up this section. Next up guys, and usually I would do this from the beginning, but we're gonna create the rest of this panel for us to fade into. So I'm taking a two guard all the way closed and I'm trying to flick into the top basically. You can see I'm pulling out and connecting to the top while cutting everything underneath down to a two. That will make it easier for us to fade up into it. Our next guideline will be with a one guard all the way open and we're gonna go up another three quarters of an inch. Same thing guys, we're gonna establish the guideline and then we're gonna work the line out from the bottom. Now on this texture of hair, when I cut up against the grain, you can see that the hair wants to stay where it got pushed to. So it's very important to keep brushing. As my man Beam says, brush one, fade one. But yeah guys, you wanna hit the hair with the clipper and then immediately brush it back down and get it laying back down. Now while I'm up here, I wanna go ahead and connect everything together. So we started with the two, we're gonna go ahead with our one and a half and connect the one to the two. Then all we'll have left is that last line at the bottom that we put in with the open clipper. Now we can start to work on that last guideline. We're gonna come in with the one guard all the way closed. Again, guys, brushing the hair down after every few strokes that we do, you can see the hair is wanting to stay up. So we wanna brush it back down. Anything that doesn't come out with the one closed, we will come in with our half guard and it should clean it the rest of the way up. Now guys, last but not least, this is the half guard. You know I call it the magic eraser. We're just gonna basically rub this through any dark spots that are left on that last line. And it should clean it up. Sometimes guys, because we put the line in with an open clipper, we will have to come back with our open clipper to get some of these dark spots out. Now we're gonna go ahead and blend his beard in. So guys, I'm starting at the top, kind of the triangle of the beard, cutting it down to a two, basically to blend into the length of the beard, and then we'll just fade our way up. So we'll do the two, the one and a half, 
the one open, the one closed, then to the open clipper and all the way up to the clipper closed at the top of the beard. Alright guys, moving on to the other side, this is going to go much easier now that I have learned his hair a little bit. You guys follow along with the color guide down in the bottom corner. And real quick guys, we are about 500 subs away from the 30,000 sub giveaway. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have the bell turned on so when I drop the info on that, you guys won't miss out. We're giving away a GMB Pro over the shoulder bag, a headlamp, a cape a floor mat, some stickers, the whole nine yards from GMB. So you guys don't wanna miss out on that. Make sure you subscribe and turn your bell on. When I drop the info, you guys won't miss it. Also guys, I know you noticed I have all the new Gamma Clippers here lately. I am now an affiliate with Gamma, so if you guys wanna save 10% on any of the Gamma Clippers or Stylecraft Clippers you see in the video, make sure to use my code, Sean Cuts Hair, you guys will save 10%. That's on the entire website, so I believe over $50 they are throwing in the magnetic charging cable. So you guys head to the website, you can grab any of these new clippers you guys see in the videos and save 10%. Again, make sure you use code, Sean Cuts Hair. Alright guys, so I skipped the back, same exact steps as we did, we just connected everything together. I'm gonna go ahead and come in with a curl sponge, give me some texture up top, he likes to rock it curly, then we'll move on to the lineup. Now I'm applying black hair fibers, guys, it's gonna help the line pop when I hit it. I wanted to fill in those corners a little bit, just so I didn't chase after that line. It's gonna show me a nice sharp line when we come across with the trimmers. So I will dust it with some fibers. I sprayed it with some hairspray to begin with, so those fibers will be held in place. We'll let that dry and we could come in and get the line nice and sharp. Now we're gonna come in with our patty cuts, skeletons, Get this hairline nice and sharp from one side to the other, guys. We're just gonna work little by little until it is straight across. Once we hit the corners, we can make the vertical bars nice and sharp as well. And you guys can see he has a part that is growing in. We're gonna hit that part and make it sharp. Then we'll come in and do the razor work. Now I can see where he already had this part, so I'm gonna stick my comb in, I'm gonna try to separate that hair a little bit, allowing me to get to his scalp to make the line nice and sharp. So you guys see I have the hair separated. I'm gonna be real careful. This is in the middle of his head, guys, so we don't want it to get too thick. I really wish I would've put the camera up top so you guys could see it. But you see, I'm just going little by little. We don't wanna blow this out too much. We just wanna get it sharp and skinny and connected to the front. Now guys, you see I am gonna grab the FX3s. My man Cuts by Coast has these trimmers and they hit super hard. Something about my skeletons just weren't quite getting this line sharp. So I went to grab the FX3s. If you guys think I should cop them from him, let me know. I think he wants to sell them and I've been thinking about picking them up. Now we're gonna come in and do some razor work, guys. This is the Toon 45 triple cartridge razor with the fully exposed blade. That means the blade is sticking all the way out. 
And guys, I am using Filoso blades. I do have a discount code in my description if you guys are interested in grabbing some. We're just gonna dry shave this, guys. I've already taken the trimmer over his head multiple times. We're just gonna dry shave it, get the line nice and sharp. I will use some shave gel on his beard line because I haven't lined it up yet. So we'll put some shave gel on there, get the beard line sharp as well, and you guys can check out the finished product. All right guys, there's my man Tevin before. You can see, a little bit grown out. He is a pretty regular client, so this is about as bad as he gets. And there you go guys, there's the finished product. High fade with enhancements, a little bit of a part in the top, and some beard work as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this cut. Obviously guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that giveaway. I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I'll catch you next time.